hi, I'm the too old to die young guy. Um, quite a lot of people have asked on the YouTube channel to see what I look like. Um, I'm not a vlogger as such. I really started to do these uh, videos um, for my own sake because sometimes when I'm taking bits uh, apart they might not get, get done for a few days. Um, and as I've said before in the early uh, comments, I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional mechanic. I basically have been taking things to bits since I was about eight or nine and that includes motorbikes, cars, lawn mowers, electrical equipment. I enjoy taking things to bits and mending them. I've never been scared to pull something apart. If it's broken, well, I might as well take it to bits and see what's wrong with it. And so just for those people who have been leaving one or two nasty comments about I shouldn't touch things if I don't know what I'm doing, um, well, you can take these videos as you want. Um, you can either get something out of them or you can be nasty and leave comments. Um, it's a shame that I have to say that at the beginning of the video, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to carry on with my Honda 404 carburetors, so I know those pretty well. So it's a journey with me. If you like it, great. If you don't, then well, you don't have to um, be nasty about it. Just you know, don't watch them, I guess. So <laughs> sorry uh, if that's come across, to, across as a bit negative, but uh, let's go. Let's get on with doing this Honda uh, carburetor. Well, the carburetors, shall we say? So, here's my Honda 404 carburetors all ready to be done. Um, let's see how we get on with these. The first thing I want to do is to just take all these uh, rubber pipes off and the ancillaries. Um, there's the petrol pipes and the petrol feed pipes here. And then I'm going to remove this spring just here, which is controlling the way the throttles work. Um, this has a push-pull system on this particular bike, so one cable opens the throttle and when you turn it back or when it's pulled back by this spring, it shuts off. If that spring was to break, you could actually shut the throttle off and it would uh, stop flow of fuel to the carburetors. Um, but let's just get these off and see how we get on. This might not be the correct sequence but I'm thinking that seeing as how this spring is holding everything under tension it's probably a good idea to take that off because if I dismantle something and something's under tension then ding, it's going to go flying all over the place so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay so the next bit I think is to take these off here to separate the carburetors and then there are some big screws around the back here <coughs> that need to come off these ones here and that holds the carbs onto this back plate this is a toolkit I got free with a magazine subscription really never used it um, it's quite good they keep meaning to put it in the car but I never got around to it so I believe that these little screws here are uh, eight millimeter so i'm going to undo those i'm going to take these little brackets off here um, and then i'm going to take these off and then hopefully split the carburetor so let me just get on with that little cups in there okay so the next thing to do is to take all these brass caps off I only found this out a few years ago that these are actually not Phillips 
they're not posi drives they're actually a japanese system i think they're called js but i'm not entirely sure and i bought these new screwdrivers a set of these are so much better because they actually fit perfectly into all these japanese screws unlike the red handled one and it makes such a difference all those uh, strip nuts of years gone by because we're using the wrong screwdriver basically well now i know better and so now it's time to undo these which hold it to the frame for now that one that one that one and that one so as can be seen by that the carburetors come apart fairly easily just got to watch these little rubber things here um, which go on to these balls here and that one's got the same thing and then these little bits here they actually have one of these little cup things which drops down into there because as I pulled that off one of them fell out and it's definitely that one at the back so they go into the back those ones and there they are that is the orientation of that piece so I've just taken that off there and it looks like that. This is carburetor number one with the same rubber thing on it. Pops off. If you can see that, that little cap's actually gone inside the spring now, it's in the right place. And that very simply just slides back into place. So, just hooks back in there, he says. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but it does. I've just tried it there. That clips back on like that. Easy. All right, excellent. So between two and three you've got this petrol pipe which just comes out on our rings and then on the one to two and three to four we've got this arrangement here which consists of this again rubber sealed connector piece and two bits of rubber hose that I think was replaced the last time they were cleaned which is about two three years ago so I'm going to assume well if I can find some I know they're not available ex stock but if it's just uh, if I can get a measurement on the rubber and then find some hose to fit I'll probably just replace those anyway and same with the o-rings on here if I can find out what they are 